YouTube, what's going on? It's t 21 here bringing you another video. This week, we're going away from video games just a little bit for this video. Last weekend, I got a chance to go to Motor City Comic Con here in Michigan, and I walked away with some pretty awesome stuff. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff I walked away with, as well as end the video with a mystery box reveal. I haven't looked into it yet, so we're just going to do that together. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get this party started. All right, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to show off some of the Lego figurines I got. I'm a big Lego fan, uh, but obviously Legos have gotten more and more expensive. I would love to get some of those collectible items from Star Wars to just the, I don't know, just cool Legos. I like building Legos. So the opportunity came across uh, while I was at Comic-Con, and I was able to snag a couple figurines that I thought were pretty cool. First, let's go ahead and we're going to look at the Captain America. Uh, this obviously is Endgame Captain America. You see he's got Mjolnir, he's got a shield. I thought he looked pretty sweet, so of course I had to snag him. So that's one. I'm a big Captain, I'm a big Captain America fan, so I'm not going to lie, I... I got a couple Captain Americas. So here we got, you know, the simpler Captain America. Looks like more of the original Avengers Captain America. Still pretty sweet Lego figurine. And the last of our Marvel Lego figurines is this Loki. The shiny helmet. That scepter looks awesome. Couldn't walk away. There were a lot of really cool Lokis. Uh... In this in this section here, there was the ice like the ice frost Loki. Had he had stayed, um, there there was some there was a crystal Loki. There was, uh, oh man, I I can't even remember right now. But they were they were pretty awesome. All right, moving away from moving away from Marvel, we have Cell, perfect Cell, and I got this mainly because. Uh, I saw him and instantly I just thought of the Team Four Star and Perfect Cell. You're either perfect or you're not me. Uh, <laughs> his voice just kept ringing in my head and so I had to buy him. Um, I think the, the Dragon Ball here is pretty cool too. Uh, so nice little uh, addition to the collection. You can't really go wrong with with Dragon Ball. And then to wrap it up here, we have the Mandalorian and Grogu, Baby Yoda. Of course, you can't you can't go wrong with Baby Yoda, right? He's the national treasure. So, those were the Lego figurines that I ended up getting. Uh so I, I thought they were pretty cool. Um they weren't bad price. I think I got all 5 of those for like 20 bucks or something like that. So, not too bad. So next up on the list, uh, like I said, I, I collect a lot of Captain America stuff. And this one jumped out at me. I have a lot of Captain American Funko Pops. Uh, this, we have the Soldier Supreme. And it is Captain America, Doctor Strange crossover. Uh, I th Again, it's pretty weird, pretty unique. Uh, but I, I had to take... I had to, I had to snag them. They got a couple different crossovers. Looking at it, it looked like they have Iron Hammer. They've got uh, the Ark Knight, Ghost Panther, Diamond Patch, and Madam Hell um, in this collection. So those were pretty cool. So next up on the list uh, is an actual comic. Uh, I started watching this show. Amazon Prime had it come out this past year. And I watched the first episode, and I was hooked. Uh, and I th made it a goal to find uh, the first compendium of this comic, just solely based on the show. I, I think, I'm pretty sure I watched it all in one day. But that would be Invincible. Uh, so I have the entire first compendium here, and it's a little 
damaged, uh, which is okay. I'm not collecting these for, you know, collectibles or for the value. I actually truly want to read read through all this. So I think I got this for like 40, 40 bucks. Um, originally, it's like I can go upwards of 60 depending on the quality of uh, with it being brand new. But there's a little bit of wear and tear. And, you know, at Comic-Cons, people are pretty... Uh, finicky about the quality that they're getting and so i i took it as a steal um i was pretty excited for it and uh, all right the last uh the last thing before we get to the mystery box is my mighty mjolnir uh i've been wanting to get a uh mjolnir replica replica for a while now um I'm I'm gonna go as Fat Thor for Halloween this year, um, because you know I just don't think I can pull off uh, handsome uh, jacked Thor. I think Thor in pajamas and a robe fits my style a little bit better. So so I picked up a Mjolnir. Uh, it's foam, but it's you know it's got a good weight to it. Um, so I'm pretty excited for I got a couple Halloween parties. We're gonna dress up and do that. So, all right, next is going to bring us to our mystery box. So you probably saw from the, uh, from the thumbnail, I picked up this mystery box here. Um, it was the last thing I got at Comic-Con and I always like to pick up one just because you never know what you're going to get. So I picked it up. I haven't opened it yet. And I thought I'd uh, we'd go ahead and just do it right here. Let's let's take a look. All right, mystery box finally open. Uh, find the best spot for this. All right, here we go. First thing I'm pulling out is this guy. He looks familiar, but I'm not quite sure where he's from. Uh, I'll have to look it up while I do this video, but I think I can, should be able to put it on here. There we go. Can't really, how's that look? Does that look good? Ready? Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, again, I have no, I have no idea where this is from. Oh, I'm a bad, I'm a bad nerd. All right. So, at, not not a bad rubber mask here. Um, we'll move along. What else do we got? Oh, all right. We got fun edibles, funables, uh, Ghostbusters, pizza, pizza Venkman. Oh, there we go. I didn't even look at the. Well, that's pretty cool. That's like a Funko Pop. But, uh, pizza. Pizza Venkman. I like, I now that I am not looking at the back of it, I can see what it actually is. That's pretty cool. I like that. Ghostbusters. Funables. Fun edibles. That makes, that makes a lot more sense now. All right, what else do we got? Uh, some, something in the bag. This bag is not a toy, so it's definitely not this black bag. We'll go ahead and open it up. Ooh, it's soft, whatever it is. Oh! I think we got a Call of Duty blanket. A Modern Warfare Call of Duty blanket. Oh, it's so soft. Look at that, that's pretty sweet. It's a Call of Duty blanket. Try to back up a little bit more. I mean, it's it's cool that it's a Call of Duty blanket because I love Call of Duty, especially Modern Warfare. But like, this is really soft. <laughs> so I'm I'm pretty happy about that. I'm happy with everything so far. All right, what else do we got? Oh boy, what? Okay, this just made it everything totally worth it. Are you ready? We've got 
a Thanos piggy bank. Uh, maybe not call it a piggy bank, but like somewhere to put out where all the change that I have. And where is all my change, you ask? It's everywhere. So <laughs> this is actually going to come in pretty handy. And it's a, it's a Thanos bank. So that's pretty cool. What else we got? All right, we've got Dark Souls. We got a water bottle. Pretty nice. Nice little handy one. Like, not, not a whole lot of water, but... Uh, what do we got? Ooh, socks, right? We got some Zelda. Zelda Breath of the Wild dress socks. I never thought I needed these until... Until now. <laughs> so we got some dress socks. That's not too shabby. Can never go wrong with socks, right? We got a little little cush, little plush toy. Oh, it's got bean bags in it too. What are you? Kawi Cubes? Suicide Squad. This is Deadshot. Okay. So this is a little a little dead shot. If you can see. He's a little little uh almost like a stress a stress cube. I don't know if that's what it's for, but there are instructions. There's oh, there's an entire suicide, actual Suicide Squad. Uh, Kawi cubes reimagine all your favorite characters in an all-new cubed form. The cube shape is perfectly for stacking, displaying your collect. Oh, so no, they're just cubes. It's not supposed to be like a stress ball. It's just a cube version of your favorite characters. Uh, that you can stack, apparently. Oh. Well, this is pretty awesome. We got ourselves a... Classic Super Nintendo controller for PC and Mac. For, uh, for gaming. Always dreamt of using your Super Nintendo controller with your favorite PC game. Now you can. Retrofitting. Oh, that is pretty... Not gonna lie. I'm not going to lie, that's pretty awesome. I'm going to have to test this out at some point. Can we open it? Can we see what it looks like? I probably should have brought a knife down here. But I didn't. Yeah, look at that. I mean... Plug right into the computer and go and play. That's pretty sweet. Alright, we got a couple more things in here. Oh, snap. We got... It's a talking plush with. We got ourselves a little Star Wars, a little sand guy. It's not an Ewok, but I can't remember the name of this. And it's supposed to. Oh! oh. <laughs> Alright, that. That's pretty awesome. Alright, one more little thing here. It's a mini, a mini lunchbox. Alright, let's see if I can get this open. Success! Oh, alright, we got Attack on Titan. It's like a mini Attack on Titan lunchbox. Uh, let's see if there's actually anything inside, though. Ooh, you know what? There's not. It's empty. So, uh, Teeny Tins Lunchboxes. I mean, it's cool. I like Attack on Titan. That's a... Uh, but I thought maybe something would be, you know, uh, in it. But that's on me. That's on me for assuming. All right. I think I have one more thing in here. Almost missed something. Oh, I think this is a bow tie. Did I get a bow tie? I don't know if I've ever... No, I have worn bow ties, but, like, never real bow ties. Oh, no, it's a lanyard. It's... Oh, nice. Agent Scully. Agent Scully, Scully lanyard. Very cool. X-Files. All right, now one more. This one seems pretty cool. It is, looks like we have a figure 
figurine. We got Jago collectible figure from Killer Instinct. Look here. That's the front of the box. And then this is the actual figure that I got. Um, so pretty cool. Not a bad haul. Welp, YouTube, that's going to do it. I hope you had a good time. This was my first time doing an unboxing, and I'm not going to lie, that was a lot of fun. I paid maybe 75 bucks for that mystery box, and I think I've got about $200 worth of value from it. So not, not too bad. I just got to figure out where I'm going to put all that stuff. We've got a lot of cool content coming your way pretty soon. I've got my one-year channel anniversary coming up, and I've got a cool announcement for what's going to happen with that. I'm having a lot of fun with Fortnite as well as our Smash Open Lobbies. So make sure you like this video, hit the subscribe button, and I hope to see you around. Have a good one.